Ghost Gamer Supplement Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Ghost Gamer. To be honest guys, Ghost is one of my favorite energy drinks. Recently I've had to cut down my caffeine and I can't really handle the 200 milligrams. I know I'm turning into a weakling here, but I really do like the, the Ghost energy drinks. It's absolutely probably my favorite energy drink, the Ghost Sour Watermelon. I've tried about millions of kinds and I just absolutely love Ghost Sour Watermelon. They also have um, a Ghost Red Berry that's pretty good. So I was hoping that this would kind of mimic it. Um, I just want to give you a quick disclaimer. I purchased this not knowing that it had artificial colors in here and I have severe, severe reactions to artificial colors. I'm going to be doing a review or a video kind of explaining that. The original Ghost, the energy drink that I like, none of those have colors in it and I don't know why they added colors to this one. The thinking that I have is that this is supposed to copy G Fuel. G Fuel is the main gaming mix and all G Fuels have those artificial colors in them. So I was thinking they're just trying to copy G Fuel. G Fuel has colors, they'll have colors. I will say that this has red 40, which affects me the least of all the colors, but I literally poured half of this. I started to feel those colors and I had to pour it down the drain. So it's very, very unfortunate, but I am kind of like a supplement expert. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I know a lot about supplements. And this one is actually really, really impressive. And I really like it and I actually am really sad that I could only have like half of a scoop one time. I let my coworkers have some of this. Um, they say that it tastes kind of similar to the red berry. I would say that the ghost drinks, the actual canned drinks are probably a little bit better than this, but still very, very good flavor, especially from what I remember. So I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of the ingredients. High dose vitamin C. Vitamin C is great. It also helps with absorption, but it's also good for the immune system, things like that. This whole mix is vegan as well, which is another huge plus. So they have the vegan version of vitamin D. Um, vitamin E, niacin, um, so a couple more B vitamins and then zinc, so that's, that's what we have for as far as just the normal kinds of vitamins right there. Um, and then to the gaming mix, the only thing that I haven't tried is this new level or new LVL, and it's inositol enhanced bonded arginine silicate or something like that. So it sounds like they blended inositol and arginine. Now inositol is kind of like a B vitamin and it has like a lot of benefits. I know it's good for sleep, but I, I mean, it's a B vitamin which are generally good for energy. So this is probably good for energy as well. And then it's bonded with arginine. Now arginine is probably one of the most notorious things to improve blood flow. And if you improve blood flow, it's just gonna wake you up. It's just overall kind of good for almost everything. Any sort of activity, um, blood flow increase is good. Taurine, now I think taurine, from my understanding, the reason they put it in there is it's kind of like an anti-cramp thing. Maybe I'm wrong. I know it has some couple other benefits, but I'm pretty sure that when you add taurine into it, and you drink it and you go run, you have a less chance of getting a cramp. That's just my understanding. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down below. And then you have Cognizant Cytocholine, Cytocholine. Now, to be honest, I would always mix this up with Alpha GPC, but this is just a high quality version of Choline. And Choline is kind of like an interesting neurotransmitter. It's not really, you know, when you think of awakening and focus, to me, I would always think of dopamine, which is like you feel good, you're super focused, super amped. Choline is more of this, your brain is just functioning, like you don't really feel up and high, but like everything's just working. That's kind of how I describe choline, which makes sense while they put it in here. Raw coconut water, I love that they put that in here. Love, love, love it. So the main reason they probably did that is for the electrolytes. Now, I've wanted to do another video on electrolytes as well, but electrolytes is kind of like one of the secrets to life in my opinion. Um, you know, all of our waters and uh, things in our food, everything's supposed to have like a certain amount of electrolytes and a certain amount of balance. And we kind of overly filter our water to the point where there's no electrolytes in there. And electrolytes help so many processes in the body. And if you don't have the right electrolytes, your body will completely shut down. So this is basically the most natural way you could get electrolytes, which is the raw coconut water. I love to see it in here. And then you have the natural caffeine at 75 milligrams a scoop or 150 milligrams if you do the double scoop. So uh, real quick, they say that it is 40 servings. So it's kind of like, you know, I would probably venture to say about a scoop and a half is where I would go. That would put me at 30 servings. And then it would kind of be a little more caffeine than 75, but not as much as 150. That's probably like the sweet spot. So kind of very low caffeine, but I kind of like that these energy mixes or these gaming mixes aren't super, super high on caffeine 
caffeine, but at the same time, it's more caffeine than like a soda. So you're getting a good amount of caffeination, but at the same time, it's nothing crazy. Like I don't really wanna, personally, I don't wanna go over 200 milligrams. And even now I'm becoming even more sensitive and I want even less than that. So astrogen, now or I have to do a little more research on that, but I'm pretty sure that enhances the absorption, kind of similar to vitamin C. And then the last one is theobromine, which is like, from my understanding, it's kind of it's kind of similar to caffeine. It's kind of one of these um, mood enhancers, kind of like a stimulant. It's just like an extra thing that is put in focus blends or kind of wakeful blends. I've used it several times. I've never used it on its own, but every time I seem to enjoy it. I've never had a problem with theobromine in a product. So anyways, guys, that's a quick little rundown of Ghost Gamer. I absolutely love this product and the idea of it. I just wish that they would take out those artificial colors or offer one that has no artificial colors or spend the extra money and use the actual stuff that's good for you maybe you could do that but then again i don't blame them because they're copying g fuel and g fuel does it for example bang energy became popular bang energy had no colors right so then you had all these bang clones like rain rockstar exterance and all the bang clones have no artificial colors. So I kind of love that, you know, but they're copying whatever the top dog did and these guys are copying G Fuel, so that's why it has colors in it. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Ghost Gamer. Do you like this mix? Do you not like this mix? I would use this while gaming and while not gaming. It's Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.